guess you could say that before 1998, I didn't expect my life to turn uh, this corner. But right after I, I did my, uh, my Olympics in Nagano, I knew that this would be my path. And I spent the last 19 years uh, working at it and putting one foot in front of the other, waiting for the society and, and for our, our governments and everybody to catch up and realize what the right thing to do is with cannabis. I spent um, a few uh, sleepless nights wor worrying about it, if I was doing the right thing or not. I really feel like my responsibility after Nagano was to destroy the, the stereotypes and um, the stigma um, around cannabis, whether you're using it for physical reasons or for mental reasons. I don't believe in the difference between um, medical cannabis or recreational cannabis. I don't see. So I don't see there. Yeah, I think it's a preventative right. substance, and I really hesitate to call it a drug. Ross's Gold is basically a branding and licensing company, so we like we license our brand out to uh, products and uh, services that we think are moving the cannabis uh, industry in the right direction. Right. Um, we have uh, a licensing model for storefronts, and we have one storefront in Kelowna, right. where we have a full retail section with all of our glass, our clothing line, um, all the paraphernalia that you need to use cannabis. And then in the back, we have uh, a big dispensary with around 30 different uh, kinds of flour, all the tinctures and, and extracts and a whole line of edibles and pretty much everything. And so do your dispensaries, uh, or does your dispensary sell um, all of your own products or are you also carrying other products and kind of combination? So yeah, we have our own products in there um, as well, but we carry uh, other brands. That, that we feel are doing a good job and are, are uh, you know, make our store more more appealing. We want we want our, our customers to have uh, options, right. and uh, you know, for us, it's great for them to, you know, have the option to be you know loyal to our brand or or try a, out another product that we think is uh, has the gold standard. So, do you have a propensity towards uh, like yourself personally? Do you lean more towards flour? I love the whole gamut of, of cannabis. Um, it, it depends on the day, it depends on uh, what my schedule is and, and everything like that. If I'm going to be with the kids or picking them up from school, then I probably won't smoke a joint right before I, I go around the school. So um, I have a bunch of different vape pens with Dislid or Shatter, different things like that that I can use in between my day. Um, I love smoking flour. Different, the different kinds and, and the aroma of it. Um, and you're still a big snowboarder? Big, big into snowboarding and I, I recently started skiing again. Um, I, I, I gave up ski racing when I started snowboard racing back in 86 and uh, just recently got back on my skis. My kids are ski racers and uh, I'm proud to say. <laughs> Um, I've got three kids, uh, eight, five, and two. Yeah. And do they, uh, I know they're a little young, but do they understand what cannabis is or what, you, what your job is? They understand that cannabis is uh, something that's for mummies and daddies. Yeah. And uh, we treat it like um, wine or beer around the house. We don't hide it from them. We keep it out of reach. They understand, uh, you know, the basic safety that that we want to see, you know, them exercise around it and ourselves as well. But we feel that starting now by not attaching a stigma to it with them is important, especially considering who I am as their father. I don't want them feeling uncomfortable about. Um, so that they they love it. They they just see me growing the plants, That's you know, and. Uh, it's a natural, they don't think anything about it. Thing. Yeah. And uh, what is your plan for Ross's Gold? Are you looking to expand across the country? And uh, what, what does the next year look like for you? So the next year is looking um, busy. Um, <laughs> we're, we are expanding. Our licensing uh, model for our storefronts is really popular right now. Um, I think the whole industry, from our perspective, like knows that it's going to go to brick and mortar. And uh, 
So we've positioned ourselves for that to happen. We've pushed the envelope by opening our store early uh, ahead of um, legislation. But we really wanted to show the government and the people the, um, where cannabis should go. And do you think uh, the legislation is going to be wildly different to province to province, or do you think federally we're going to embrace the dispensary model? Federally, they'll, in, they'll embrace the, the model, but it will still be up to the provinces and then the municipalities. So different, you'll see different ridings choose different paths down that road, but in the end they'll realize that the job opportunities and the tax revenue, it would be irresponsible to continue to, to do that, and it will become an election issue. And at that point there you'll see city council um, making it part of their platform. Well thank you so much. Yeah, it was a pleasure. Thank you. you. You're amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.